I think we played seven festivals this summer and just got back from a nine-date Netherlands tour. The festivals are the one for us that's playing to crowds that are here to see the Vamps and Jesse J. Um, and then we come on and kind of play a little bit darker and <laughs> it's, it's quite fun to, to test it out really. But otherwise it's people that would never hear our music. So it's, it's certainly good to be on a festival building with Jesse J and the Vamps and people like that. Writing's uh, mostly at home in, uh, in Buckinghamshire. And then so I record it with Will, who's our drummer, and Max, our guitarist. And then the later single was recorded at Universal in there. We just recorded a demo in their studios. And then gonna finish it off and get it out in November, I think. Playing gigs and people singing the words back to you, that's always, because we're still at such an early stage, when you see like you clock one person sing it, you're like, this is nuts that I've written that in my bedroom and now we're playing on a big stage and someone's singing the words you've written back to you. And so I think that was, it was that and a combination of I don't want a real job. The War on Drugs, a huge fan of them. Cool. Um, and Foles, um, and Bombay Basketball Club, obsessed with those guys. So maybe, uh, yeah, perform on stage, probably the War on Drugs, because they play like 10 minute songs and just put guitar solos in for like five minutes. So there's more, there's way more creative stuff going on and more festivals and certainly a lot more bigger gigs popping up and there's a lot of hype and excitement amongst fans that they're all loving going to shows and obviously it's not an ideal time in terms of record sales and people aren't really buying records anymore but if they're illegally downloading them maybe more people are hearing them and therefore coming to shows and it's making the shows bigger and more fun for us.